Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Hash coming at you with a Borderlands 3 run through of the Katagawa Ball Boss. Um, I've been told that it's kind of like a harder boss to beat, especially when playing solo. I've been playing solo since I started the game. I've been having a lot of fun. Um, running through the boss is very simple, so I kind of wanted to show you guys my playthrough of it. Um, so we'll get started here with it. I'm already spawned at the uh, at the nearest save point for it. Um, I also kind of wanted to run through telling you guys what weapons you can get, grenade mods that drop from him, um, the loot spawns of course. Uh, so uh, I'll start off with kind of telling you guys what my gear is. My gear is pretty good. I'm running a lot of gold and purple right now. So for my main weapon that I use is actually a Jacob's pistol. It's really good. It's like an old Western style. Um, does a lot of damage. Accuracy and handling is pretty good. Reload speed is amazing. Critical hits ricochet one bullet at the nearest enemy. Um, that's just a random loot that I've been getting from uh, social. So you can actually get a lot of your stuff. If anyone doesn't know, you can go to the mail. And if you pre-ordered uh, the game, you can get a bunch of stuff that comes with the pre-order most of the stuff is all troll leaf and weapons though so uh like like the squirt gun that was probably one of my favorites um but yeah so jacobs gives you a lot of stuff throughout the game the pistol is probably my favorite from him um but yeah so going moving on from that i'm using the one pump chump which is a grindable weapon from another boss called uh one punch and you can grind them in Promethea if anyone doesn't know the, the spawns. Just comment down below. I can always show you guys how to find them, how to grind them, um, how to beat the puzzle. It's super simple. Uh, another great weapon that can carry you through to like probably about level 26. And then you're going to maybe want to like switch it out and find something better. Um, it's pretty great though. I swear guys, I, I, I didn't mean for it to be a one pump jump. But uh, yeah, yeah happened um and then i i've always enjoyed smgs running siren class in borderlands 2 you most people would know that smgs were probably the main weapon that you're gonna use so i've kind of been like used to it sadly for amara she's not really an smg user like in a sense when you phase lock someone in your fist it like it could come in handy with like um, the fire rate and the damage wise of SMGs. So it, it kind of plays a good role, but the most weapon damage that I'm getting is probably out of the Jacobs Western style pistol. Um, another weapon that you can obviously grind is the one, all, all these two weapons here are grindable weapons from bosses. Um, this one's from an Athena's boss called Mr. Bean. It was off of a side quest to help Maya's apprentice. Um, also, if you don't know how to get that quest or find it, I can also just comment down below. I can always run through it. Um, I can run through all of the Athena's bosses and uh, tell you guys where the bosses are, what weapons drop from the bosses. Um, just let me know. And then one of the best shields in the game that I found, um, obviously people know like the B shield in Borderlands 2 is probably like one of the best shields. This is like in a sense nothing like it nothing like it um everything's completely changed from borderlands 2 which is super cool um loving the game so far the transformer shield though uh capacity wise it's pretty good for level 17 i'm level 24 right now so like if i were to get a better one obviously it'd probably be like 1200 shield capacity but it's 100 percent resistance so you'll probably be able to find a bunch of these lying around that are like 100% shock resistance, 100% fire corrosive resistance. I don't know about any of them at the moment except for the shock one. Um, this shield I actually got out of Moxie's bar doing the um, the slots. So you, it's it was just kind of like uh, luck of the gamble, I guess. I've got a gambling problem in Moxie's bar. I spent all my gold and voila, this shit happened. So um, yeah. Um, nice thing about the shield is it converts 100% of shock damage into shields. So no matter how much shock damage you're going to get, you're going to take no damage because literally you're just going to get all your freaking shield back. So it's really handy for any shock boss like the Katagawa ball 
I'm guessing that's like the main thing people have trouble with is um, any shock damage, your shield's gonna get depleted in like an instant, dude. Like that shit's gonna be f like that. That's gonna go faster than the one pump chump, my guy. Like that's like no bueno, no bueno. So, um, I I may try and run through without the shield just to kind of show you guys like how big of a importance this shield is for like a solo run. Um, obviously, not everyone's gonna be able to get it or find it. I don't know if it's a grindable. Um, shield from a boss it, it probably is but it might be from like a a higher up leveled boss maybe in a different area not too sure um when the time comes i'm planning on grinding all bosses to find what they drop um for every weapon grenade mod shield um anything uh so yeah so that's that's a great one to have it also i didn't have it when i fought kilovolt which is in promethea um side uh side quest for moxie of course um kilovolt's probably actually a bit of a harder boss than this boss to fight in my opinion but yeah let's get into it i'll show you guys how to beat him it's very simple um there's a few like techniques that you need to know so yeah right when you get in he'll spawn he's gonna be a big orb He's gonna shoot rockets out of the side. The rockets are the thing that do like the most damage as you can see. So like you wanna take out the side pieces as fast as possible, um, which I didn't do. Aim for them right away. Whenever he does this move and you don't have this shield on, you're gonna wanna get behind any cover that you can find just so that way he doesn't uh, deplete all your shields. He does very, very simple move sets. So he's gonna fire a bunch of balls like this. They're gonna be fireballs, corrosive balls, uh, uh, frost balls and um, uh, radiation balls. So he fires usually about three. He'll do this weird spinning move. I don't know what the heck it does. It's never hit me once. Um, the main thing is just kind of jumping to the sides, dodging them. Obviously hit your shots unlike me. I'm a bit of a potato, but that's how I eat. So yeah, once you get the first one down, he's gonna kind of speed up. Um, he'll start using, that's when he'll start using the uh, radiation. Um, same thing though, you just kind of have to jump out of the way, dodge it. He'll do this crazy spinning move like that. That's when without like my shield, you'll wanna hide behind something just so you don't get hit by those. Um, so that way you don't deplete your shield very easy moves to like dodge which is nice so of course again you're gonna want to like dodge it just kind of sit behind something you might be able to like take shots off at him for me i'm just kind of i won't take shock damage so i kind of just want to show you guys what to do if you're doing it without a shock shield so you hide behind of course again just like that um once he gets down to the last one he doesn't really change in size or move sets except for the biggest change is he's gonna end up doing this he'll make like a force field of shock and you'll just want to dodge it run away from him and keep shooting he uh he uh takes increased damage and has more critical spots in the middle so just keep aiming for the middle and you'll be able to kill him pretty quick And boom. Katagawa ball defeated. Get wrecked, nerd. Simple as that. And uh, for weapon for weapon drops, he's going to drop usually around like three pieces of iridium. Um, it's kind of a low thing. It's going to be a lot of cash, blue, green. Um, the weapon spawns that I know that he drops is the Stark Tsunami and the Syrian Warlord. Um, which is an assault rifle and a submachine gun. They're both pretty good. I probably wouldn't use the Stark Tsunami just because the uh, Turbo 10 Gallon's a lot better in a sense. Um, the magazine size on this one's pretty good. Maliwan's usually supposed to have like a status effect and is usually supposed to be a status effect weapon, which doesn't really make sense. But 
I don't know. In my opinion, this one's not very good. And then I've never tried the Syrian Warlord. Um, don't know what the damage wise is. I, I haven't even checked it shooting yet. Like, it's a pretty dope gun in my opinion. Like, it looks nice. It's clean. Um, has a big mag. I, I feel like it probably does pretty good uh, weapon damage and incinerary damage. But yeah, so it's like those are the two weapon spawns that i know i don't think he drops any shields um there are two other bosses on this map um that are at the beginning that you could fight one of them is handsome jackie she drops a shotgun a legendary shotgun that's level 22 i think which i have so that's handsome jackie and then there's also another one at the very very beginning so handsome jacks jacksy is actually um Han handsome jacksy is actually right before this boss she'll be like underneath this area um and then the other one that you can grind he doesn't drop any weapons but you can get these things called ludograms so not very many people know about him but he's gonna be right here so you'll want to run through spawn at the drop pod run through hit this save point over here and then you can actually run right up through here over here and get down into this area there's a dump truck right there and he'll come out of like a little fucking trash pile like the piece of garbage he is and uh yeah you'll uh his name's dinklebot he's kind of cute but kind of not and um he'll he'll come out you'll kind of know like right about here if he does spawn or not most times he doesn't spawn it takes like like he hit uh, yeah, sometimes he doesn't spawn so it's like four to five times he won't spawn and then like he'll start spawning it's really just random it's like it's probably like a 75 percent chance that he won't spawn and then 25 percent chance he does but he drops little things called ludograms that you can go and trade into um crazy earl and you won't always get a legendary weapon from crazy earl but there's a one in three chance that you will so you want to grind him get like uh 12 to 20 ludograms and then go hand them in and there's like there's probably like a i don't know what the percentage chance is that you'll get a ludogram but or a, a legendary weapon but you'll be able to get a jacob's pistol like the one that i have and i think he gives this shotgun as well the iron willed nimble jack um not don't hold me on that he gives a shotgun for sure a pistol and then like an ar or a submachine gun or a sniper I, I don't know which one but um the third one's unclear for me and uh yeah so like i've been i've been grinding dinklebot as you can see i have a bunch of ludograms right here so just like this and then it says take this amazing ludogram to crazy earl on sanctuary for a reward um like i said not every single time you're gonna get a gold weapon from it but there's a good chance so that's why you go and get a bunch of them and then just hand them in and he fucking shoots them out like like he yeah yeah he just shoots them out um but yeah so that was that was the boss super simple um uh, there's the two other bosses that i showed you guys that you can go and grind for weapons here um the oh yeah yeah and she drops a shield as well i forgot so uh jackie sh drops the shotgun and the shield um the shield's pretty good in my opinion so you could grind the shield before coming into the boss um if you don't have a really good one but it's sliding into enemies drain all shields and deals up to 392 bonus uh damage based on current shields so like it's really good against any normal ground troops basically you'll be able to destroy shields and boom it's going to come in handy, plus 40 capacity, and then plus 80 melee damage uh, when shield is depleted. So for, like, Amara, this shield's going to be really good. Only downside is minus 10 max health, but you get more capacity for the shields. So it kind of plays out in a sense. Um, a last thing but not least, obviously, um, I am not running any gold grenade mods just because they aren't very good, in my opinion, the ones that I've gotten. Like... I don't think I have any here because I've sold them all, but I'm using the Hulking Exploder. It's really great. It has a lot of damage, good radius. Um, it consumes up to two grenades and does plus 20 grenade damage, but it's it's pretty nice for taking down shields and is pretty strong. But um, yeah, so that's going to pretty well conclude today's video. 
if you guys want to see anything else if you want to see me grind a certain boss um if you need me to show you where dinklebot is or uh jackie is um i was gonna make another video of grinding the one pump chump for you guys and i wanted to grind kilovolt and show you guys how to beat that on solo because he is a pretty difficult boss um i i'm planning on making more videos of hidden gems in this game um and grindable bosses and weapon drops from all bosses um like i said if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe comment on what you want to see and uh i'll catch you guys later thank you very much bye